Hi, my name is Mitch Mitchell, and I haven't done a video in a few weeks. And I'm going to tell you why. It's not that I haven't had anything to say, but I just haven't had the time. It's really been kind of frenetic around here. My wife came home. She was working out of town for 13 weeks, and she came home, and she started scrambling for her next assignment because she was coming home to interview for a position locally. And a couple days before she came home, they called her to cancel that interview. So now she had to scramble to find her next thing. Meanwhile, I've been working on my next thing, uh, trying to, you know, I'm an independent consultant, as some of you know. So I was trying to work on my next thing also. So it was frenetic from the beginning there. And we hadn't seen each other in those 13 weeks. So we were spending some time together. And things just really started to run. Uh, just to get to the quick highlights here, she now has a new vehicle. <laughs> she came home with her vehicle. It had been hit by a cab. Even though she wasn't in the car at the time, she saw the yellow streak on there, so she knew it was a cab. And it had the yellow streak and it had the dent. And they told her it would be $2,700 to fix. What is it with these car people? You go there for work and they give you these astronomical fees for this stuff that, basically for me anyway, I said, well, that's not a big deal at all. I let it go. But then I'm a guy. She wasn't having it. So they made her this deal. She couldn't afford to give it up. So now she has a new vehicle. And the thing about buying a car, as anyone who's ever bought a car knows, is that it takes a lot of time. I mean, probably in two visits with me, that was about four hours. And she had gone a couple other times. And that's just unbelievable. If you're financing a vehicle, it costs a lot of your time and energy. You know, maybe seeing a new vehicle gives you a little bit of energy, but then you get the energy sucked out of you when you're just sitting there and they're talking all this stuff. And this time I'm glad I was with her because there were some things that they had said that I said, no, that's not what you said, or no, that's not accurate and whatever. I'm sure I drove them nuts, but she was glad I was there. So she got a new car. We each got new phones. We both upgraded from Samsung Galaxy 3s to Samsung Galaxy 5s because it didn't cost anything. And not only did it not cost anything, but because we're with Verizon, and Verizon's pretty much the carrier in New York State, we're actually going to save $10 on the monthly wireless bill. Trust me, I don't know how that works. But we're saving money. We got brand new phones. That works. I know the Samsung Galaxy 6 has come out. But one of the things that kind of threw us off is that they said you can't move the SIM card from the 3 to the 6, but you can move it from the 3 to the 5. And we hadn't backed anything up because it was a fluke that we ended up showing up to get these phones. So we had that. Then we're working through the process, looks like, of getting files. You know, at a certain point, you just have to say maybe it's time to look at something new. I've been a Time Warner cable user for almost 40 years in this town and I've never had a real problem until I think back on it and I'm paying extra to get 30 megabits of speed for the internet yet there are times where we just can't access it I've never had a problem with the cable TV but I've had problems with the internet and I've had problems sometimes with the cable phone because we have that as well and so this Fios deal the way this is going to come down we're going to end up saving more than a hundred dollars a month how do you not take that deal? <laughs> so, um, you know, we're getting the package. I already have a Verizon phone, so it gets rolled in. So there's another bill that doesn't have to be paid separately. So I really don't have anything to complain about, except that we were there Saturday trying to get it done. This is Friday. This is six days later. When the guy showed up to install on Wednesday, that's when trouble started. People got the order wrong. There was stuff on there that wasn't true. There was stuff that wasn't on there at all. There's some other things that were happening here and there. I went to the store a few more times. Probably spent, what, maybe three or four hours total in the Verizon store. I, You know, the last time I went, I said, you know, I had to just buy stock in this particular office because I come here enough times. So we were there Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So we've been running around with that. My wife has gotten her new assignment. She leaves town uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. 
and she will be gone for another 13 weeks. But this time, she's going to be in California. So she's going all the way across the country. This is something totally new for her. Because now she's been scrambling around trying to figure out what she's going to send and how she's going to send it. Used to be she could just toss everything in the car and go to Jersey or go to Connecticut or go to another you know area of New York State. But now she's going all the way across the country and they're flying her there. So it's a totally different thing. And so she's been scrambling with that. And because of 13 weeks being gone, not only have we wanted to spend time together, but all of her friends. You know what? She's got friends. I don't have any friends. Okay, I may have maybe one or two locally that I get to see. But she's got friends galore. All of them want to see her. All of them want her time. And she needs some of my time. I've been helping her with her paperwork and helping her with her computer and helping her understand the phone and helping her with her laptop and helping her with the nook. <laughs> so time gets away. And I've been working on my own thing. I may have a contract coming up soon. I don't know for sure, but it could happen. But I've been dealing with that this week. And so we're dealing with that. We're dealing with trying to stay healthy, trying to keep, you know, the walking up, which I have. I've kept my steps up with the, you know, the Fitbit and my fitness pal and dealing with her telling me, why aren't you eating again? You know, that's how life goes. And I put all this out there because, you know, it has been really busy. Everything has just been crazy for two weeks. And it's not going to slow down next week, uh, especially if I'm leaving uh, on an assignment for, you know, whatever it is. And so, you know, you have all these things that kind of happen in your life. None of them were planned. None of this was ever expected three weeks ago, but it's just the way life is. And when these kinds of things happen, we all get to decide how we're going to react to them. And I'll let you know, you know, there were a couple of times where I just kind of sat there quiet. My wife would say, what's wrong? I said, my goodness, all this stuff. And I need time to think it through. I needed time to think through this Fios thing. You know, when we were there last Saturday, I told him, okay, you can send me anything you want to, but I'm not so sure I need to think about this over the weekend. How do you leave something that you've used for 40 years just to switch to something else? I had the same thing when I switched banks some years ago. So you had that. I need a new vehicle at some point. I mean, my car is nine years old, uh, but it's not critical. But I have that. I have this potential uh, contract coming up. But it's going to be kind of far as well. Luckily, I still get to come home all the time, whereas she doesn't, but still. So we're both going to be a long way away, and we're going to have to now schedule for people to come by and check the place out. I mean, my neighbors are wonderful, but, you know, I mean, I think he turns 90 this year, so you got to have something else. But one thing we never did was we never lost control of ourselves. We never lost control of our emotions. Yes, we had to sit down sometimes and think, and maybe it seemed a little solemn, but it was thinking time. Uh, there was a lot of things that could have got us both irritated and angry and upset, but we didn't go there. We just flowed with it. That's, you know, pretty much a lesson that I think a lot of people need to learn. You need to learn how to kind of flow with things. Um, people like to say our lives aren't the norm, and I say, okay, so what's the norm? What is a normal life today? Is there such a thing? You know, do you have all that many people now whose life basically says, I get up, I take the kids to school, I go to work, I come home, the kids show up, we eat dinner, we watch TV and go to bed? Are there really people where there's their, that life anymore? I don't think so. I, you know, I don't know a single parent who tells me that's their life. So, is there a norm? I don't know. Ours just seems to be on a bigger scale. <laughs> so, there you go. So my thing here is to just say, you know what, just take it. Just roll with the punches. I would say roll with the changes, but I want REO Speedwagon coming with me. So just roll with things. Let things kind of take place. Be open to new things. I mean, look at this. Being open to new things, she's now got another gig. She's got a new car. She's got a new phone. Me, I got a new phone. I might have a new gig. You just stay open to new things. That's all I have today. Wanted to give you a little catch up. Um, once she leaves, because she leaves tomorrow, I may be able to be a little bit more regular again with videos. Not that anyone's watching, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you all have a great weekend. My name is Mitch Mitchell. You take care.